So tomorrow I go to traffic court. If I don't show up, my license will be suspended and uh, I'll have even more fines to pay. And uh, <laughs> knowing that information makes me look pretty bad. Not only that, but we were way behind on our uh, on our insurance payment for our cars and they dropped us for over a month. We had absolutely no insurance, but we didn't know that. And uh, so it's an example of how if you don't know the whole story, things can look bad. And it's also an example of how, as you find out, um, those people who are not law-abiding law -abiding citizens can get you into a lot of trouble. And so the story goes something like this. About two months ago, a young lady ran into the back of my uh, vehicle and she was sighted. She was a really nice young lady. And um, it was her second uh, traffic infraction and the insurance rates were gonna go up uh, by 40% according to her dad. And so he appealed to us to uh, not file the insurance. He worked for a body shop and he would take care of things. And he did, and he did a great job and everything was put in order. Uh, but what happened was when we got stopped, the the, the uh, policeman asked me for my uh, my license, which I, I gave him, and he wanted to see my registration and my insurance. And uh, I looked and looked for 10 minutes. I looked and I thought, where on earth is that? I always put that stuff in the car when we get it. And I couldn't find it anywhere. And so I didn't have it. And so he cited me. And um, also, we didn't have I didn't have my insurance card. And I thought, that's not that's not me. I don't do that kind of stuff. I mean, I always put that in there in the car and, and we have that stuff. So what happened? And as it turns out, uh, he says, well, you show up in court and uh, and uh, if you show up in court and show it's all paid, I'll, 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 uh, I'll probably just let that go. And uh, so anyway, I went back home and thought, Vicki, what on earth happened here? Uh, this is this. Uh, we didn't have our stuff in the car. And she said, um, I don't know. Let's check. And we had not received uh, any mailer this year annually to pay our taxes. And uh, so as a result of that, <laughs> um, we that, that slid by and we didn't even notice it. And uh, I mean, how many of you, if you didn't get a notification, would go in and pay your taxes every year at a particular time? Maybe you do, but it, it went right over our heads. And so we were quite delinquent with the taxes and uh, thus that we didn't have a registration because of that. And not only that, but uh, with the insurance, what happened with the insurance? Well, um, somebody hacked our credit card a while back and uh, we had to go through the rigmarole, you know how that goes, of getting a new credit card and notifying all the appropriate people. We forgot to notify um, the, uh, the insurance people because we've already, we always pay it uh, every year. They, they, you know, we'd get the notification, we'd call in, use our credit card over the phone. And finally, we just had an automatic draft recently and forgot that, uh, oh yeah, it's not automatic draft, and so they didn't know, they canceled us. And which was unlike them, they didn't notify us that they hadn't, uh, that our card uh, was not uh, working properly. And so we went a whole month. They apologized profusely, put us back on, but we were uncovered for a whole month and did not even know that because somebody had hacked our credit card. Okay, so how come, how come the county didn't send us that annual notice? Well, we found out from the cop that um, they have no obligation to do that in our county for some reason. Is They just do that as a service. Oh, well, that was news to me. And uh, so maybe that's what happened. But also there's one more reason why that might have happened. At the beginning of the year, uh, in the spring, some I came home and found that our mailbox and the post that was on, the, you know, on, you know that the mailbox was on was totally missing. There was just a hole there in the ground. So I got in the car and I went looking and way down the road found that uh, there was our mailbox all beat up and um, deformed and in somebody's yard. Well, I got it back out of their yard. It was been thrown there. They, obviously, they did, hadn't done that. And I took it back home. And I put it up, beat the dents out of it and, and, uh, and thought I'll just make this work. Well, that happened three more times. And uh, come to find out that the individual whose yard it was being thrown in knew who was doing it called the police, uh, reported this guy, and um, he got in trouble, and uh, and that's when it all start, stopped. But during that time, when our mailbox was missing two or three days or four days until we realized where it was going, um, maybe the mail had been delivered, but who knows what we didn't get. And so as a result of this, uh, Vicky and I find ourselves in the situation that we find ourselves in, and it's not a very fun uh, situation to be in. And we have had to pay late fees on all, all that stuff, and um, it's not uh, not very fun, but we're going to take care of it, and uh, things are going to be back in order. But it just goes to show you that if you don't know the other side of the story, we looked like we were pretty um, pretty negligent in our responsibilities and obligations. And if you look at the news media today, what you're getting is one side of the story so often. 
uh, truth in publications is just almost, it's just, where is it? It's gone. And uh, when it comes to the political parties out there, it's amazing the kind of lies uh, over and over and over again. And if you look at the hearings that are going on right now um, about this thing with Trump and uh, what he is supposed to have done, uh, you know, it, it just, there are so many, there's so many, who do you believe? You, you, well, I can tell you, I absolutely have uh, mistrust in the media today to give me a full story. So when you hear something, I don't care what it is and how credible it may seem or sound or logical or you're going to believe it no matter what, there is always the other side of the story. One day I had a dog that was uh, following me. I would go jog around our three-mile block and he would follow me and I didn't know whose dog he was. I couldn't get him to stay. He would, he, would I would jog along the roadside. He would jog out in the middle of the road going against traffic and uh, I thought, this, this dog's going to get killed. And he kept doing that, and I couldn't, get, I couldn't chase him away. And uh, so one day, he's going down the middle of the road. Cars are stopping left and right, blowing their horns. One guy stops in a truck, uh, gives me the finger, and, uh, and, and angrily drives on around this dog like it's my dog. And uh, so I decided, this dog's going to get run over. So I took a rock, picked up a rock, and I tossed it at the dog, hit him right in the head. Bang! And he stopped. He looks around. And uh, he looks at me, and uh, but he keeps on going. I pick up another rock, threw the rock, and hit him again. And this is about 20 or 30 feet away. And, uh, and if somebody had seen me throwing that rock at that dog and not knowing what my intent was, I got to get this dog to turn around, stop following me. He's going to get killed. That was my intent. And uh, so the dog did stop following me. But the next few days, I would run by where the dog, where the dog, the yard where this dog used to be. And he would come out growling and snapping at me like he was going to tear me apart. I was his deadly enemy for for the for that reason because I had, with no other means to do so, <clears throat> tried to convince this dog that you're going to get yourself killed. You've got to stop following me. But had somebody observed me throwing that rock, they would have thought that I was an animal hater, that I didn't like dogs. What kind of a person am I? So it's always good to get the other side of the story. The Other Side of the Story by Paul Harvey. Awesome stories. But that's kind of where we're at today. So don't judge anything until you know not just both sides of the story, but all sides of the story. And that's, that's what I have to offer today. Okay, catch you all later.